and uh, I want to thank you for stopping by the shop for another Screwy Tuesday. The uh, title today was Game Changer and uh, it's just a new item in the shop that I'm really happy to have received and uh, for effect I was going to back up here I was going to I think these are in the photo there. Extension cords. Uh, there's a 100 footer, there's a 25 footer, there's a 50 footer, there's another 50, another 100. Whole stack of extension cords. Uh, I'm done with them. And actually, I've got one more here. This one hangs off the ceiling. Uh, and I use it here at the welding table. It's been my kind of go-to out of the way. I do have a cord reel up on the rack that um, is only a 20-footer, so it doesn't go very far. But I am done with pulling out and uh, wrapping up extension cords. Why? Right there. Right there, that's the difference. It's a cord reel, outlet cord reel that I received from Vivor. And I'm gonna bring up this little map just to show you. It's a, it's a 65 foot, 65 foot reel. I think that's all in there. Is that all in there? Yeah, 65 foot reel. It's located in the corner of the shop, which is basically right there in the back. And with that 65 feet, my shop is 40 foot deep. So I can go all the way out past the parking area in the back, all the way out to my pool equipment if I needed power out there. I can come into the machine room and go all the way back to the machine room. I can go in across the breezeway here, six foot wide, go into the wood shop. I can go all the way into the main garage and I can go all the way out in the driveway if vehicles are parked out in the driveway. Pretty slick. Can't, no more fighting cords. I, I am just jacked about it. It's, the unit is a We'll move the camera. Twelve gauge unit. Of course, it's got the adjustable stop wherever you want it, and uh, it's lighted up to show you that it's got power and it's three uh, outlets there. Nice unit. Retracts really nice. No more. No more. No more of these guys. I am done. I, I'm, as you can tell, I'm a little bit jacked, huh? Just a little bit. Yeah, no more spaghetti bending here. Let me uh, take you over to the side view of the uh, unit. And then uh, before I go there, if you notice, there's a, there's a buffer there that, uh, oh, I picked up years ago. Uh, and a nice cast iron stand, one horse, um, 3,600 RPM. Well, I've got that on Craigslist. Uh, Ox Tool hasn't pranked me yet on it. No, nah, maybe he did. No, nah, maybe he didn't. Uh, I did get one, one offer to uh, sell the stand alone. As you know, those cast iron stands are valuable. Um, but uh, one horse, uh, it's 3,600 RPM. I'm not big of 3600 RPM units. I actually had a beautiful Baldor two-wheel eight-inch grinder 3600 RPM that I picked up and I actually turned around and sold it. But in that's for sale now and it's for sale because I picked up this guy. It's a Baldor, a uh, three-quarter horse, 1800 RPM on the Baldor stand and I really like that unit. So I get the buffing wheel on one side and the uh, abrasive wheel on the other. 
The, my go-to guy has been this guy for years right there. It's got a wire wheel and a uh, brace of wheel on it. Um, nice to have the two units, but the, the new unit over here will end up over there in the corner. So you can see 65 foot, it's got a 15 amp breaker in it and it comes with a swivel bracket that you can mount on the wall so it can either be vertical or sideways. Four foot power cord on it, I uh, have an outlet just below it that was there and uh, you know, I'm really happy with the unit, can't, can't beat it. Let me uh, show you another new tool in the shop that I purchased, I'll move the camera. So this is a new item. <clears throat> this is a new item uh, that. Uh, whoops. Whoop. This is a new item that I got uh, off of Craigslist. It's been on my want list. Um, it's the uh, Raytech uh, AV18. It's a vibratory tumbler, and it does have a drain. You can see the uh, hose pipe there, and uh, it's uh, it'll hold 18.18 cubic feet and it has an adjustable amplitude so you can change it and uh, plug it in it doesn't switch so you have a plug try out the new uh, cord and uh, you can see it's uh, it's a relatively quiet unit which is really nice and it came with Lots of uh, lots of media. Also, I got uh, walnut, ceramic, and the the uh, media that's in the unit right now. So, just another item that uh, that I had on the list. Will it get used a lot in my shop? Mm, probably not. But there's a lot of things in my shop that. Uh, don't get used an awful lot, uh, but they're there when I need it, and that's uh, part of what I like. Um, I'll show you another modification in the shop. We'll move to there. On the way to uh, showing you a modification, uh, this is the pallet that was in the last video. I've set it up here to go ahead and drill and tap uh, for the hold downs, um, but I thought uh, this was interesting. Um, inch in the uh, what was it? Inch and thir 13 sixteenths is what my parallels are. I didn't have extra parallels. So these are the fireball magnetic blocks. And uh, there's my other parallel right there on each side. So that was kind of slick. Now let's uh, keep on moving. So uh, here's a set of collets for the industrial light mill. Uh, came from the little machine shop. I bought these and uh, they, little machine shop. I don't think I've ever purchased anything, but I've you know in following them, I know they have really pretty good quality tools. So I bought uh, new collets for the unit and haven't even opened them up. I did have a couple of collets that came with the unit, and I thought you know I'd just rather have a set. Um, so that's the uh, new item that, that I purchased, and then I thought I uh, I thought I'd share this guy with you. Ten bucks, ten dollars. If you can see that, and I don't know where my tape measure is. This was uh, at my at the meet and greet that I held. It was on the guy's table. Uh, it's a shop made angle block, hardened, and uh, I mean you couldn't even begin to buy the steel <laughs> for ten dollars. Um, and uh, I've checked it, and it's really, really actually pretty close. And, I, and my thought was, if anything, I could do a little grinding on it to uh, bring it even tighter tolerances. But uh, really happy buying that guy for $10. I couldn't get my money out quick enough. And then the final item back here, while we're all the way back in the machine shop, is in the back corner there. I added a, uh, a fan. Um, it's been out in my main shop 
kicked around for oh quite a long time. It was on a a, a uh, Joe McGee stand that I put together. It was broken, and uh, so I was uh, debating what to do. And so I ended up making a bracket for it and hanging it up here in the back corner of the uh, machine room. So I do have uh, some ventilation in here. There is, you know, uh, there is a vent system behind it that exhausts the room. And then there's also the small uh, little air conditioner that uh, eh, it helps in the summer. Okay, guys. Well, that's uh, that's it for a quick Screwy Tuesday. Uh, just one other item is uh, I ordered a number two and a number three Morse taper blank. You see, there's nothing there. You can machine this. It's soft. And what I'm planning on doing is making a sleeve that will increase the diameter here and then we'll bore the center three quarter inch to hold the um, slugger bits uh, just like for the magnetic drill similar to what Mr. Pete did um, but this will end up that I already have the tang on the end it's done uh, I was going to machine the whole thing but these are so inexpensive to buy um, although I love machining, but I don't need to go through the effort of building it. So I'll end up putting the uh, blank on there and then going ahead and putting the flats on it uh, for the, for the uh, slugger bits. All right, so that's coming up. You'll see that here shortly, I hope. And with that, uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, stopping by the shop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks to Vivor uh, that... Uh, that cord reel is going to make life very nice around here. Again, thanks again, and we'll see you soon on the next video.